I feel bad for you, man. You did go on seven, and he's just like, yeah, I went to an Arcadian where all the lower players and all the top players are not supposed to be there, and all the lower players are supposed to be like doing pretty good, and then I still lost 0-7. Yeah. Can you imagine, bro, like just going home, going to sleep that night, and you said I went 0-7. Yeah. It's all good, but you're moving back. Anyways, let's go right into it. It's going to be Rival versus Reverse, CSS versus Inkling. Let's see how this plays off. It's kind of a matchup I actually really haven't seen at all. I would imagine because, like, for a lot of Inkling's tools, you know, they like to dash dance a lot on the ground, so it yeah. makes their hitbox smaller. So I would imagine with Rival, who plays ESS, and a lot of their aerial approaches are with that Nair, you know, it would be a hard to land it. Yeah. But especially with Grab, too, like, that's the main, like, bread and butter opening combos with that. Yeah, Rival shows a little bit of a skill there in his tech trap there. He went for the up tilt and immediately knows if he goes for a tech or doesn't tech, he will get caught by this up smash. And a really good opportunity to understand on the back one. There's a little bit of a ladder. Can he finish it off here? And he's got him so high up in the air. Inkling looking for an opportunity to land. And yet again, just escaping from the platform right there with the flip kick. But you no, know, Inkling is just going to continue chasing Rival down. And you know, this is a pretty even game so far. Yeah. Like that, looking for that spacing here. I feel like that's where Rival wants to keep it out here, the spacing game. He knows Inkling's opportunities come from that ability to dash dance, have great movement, but also approach you with back. It's got a bit of a disjoint, so you have to be careful about it. Good opportunity, just use that jump to get away from the splat roller. And yet again, we can see Rival looking for that one like bread and butter opening combo, oh. especially with that paralyzer shot or that nair just to open uh, the, the, the Inkling up. But you know, Inkling's just not giving to him at all. Yeah. Up. Look, I like this. Rival's not letting go of the ledge here. He's keeping that pressure up. And here we go with the roller, but you know it's going to get stuffed out by that Zare. And yet again, Inkling is just struggling to find a hit. I don't think he's hit him in a long time, like, yeah. like a good like 30 seconds or so. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a few seconds for these last time. I'll throw that's not going to be able to do it. That's really not going to be able to have that slap bomb. It's going to stop Rival from going for the back air. Right. You know what? That, the crazy thing is that that trade, it's a rival didn't take yeah. any damage from that. Oh, rival struggling to get the stock. He was the one in the lead here, but immediately reversed as Trent leads around. But no, finally finding the kill at 170 with the fair, but you know, Inkling, I feel like, can easily make this up with a clean back air. Up tilt, nice. Good up Ooh. smash, and he's able to look for a follow up after what I like those confirms from Rival, but unfortunately, that DI was something I did not like at all. That uh, definitely could have been a little bit better DI. But here's a Nair to flip again. No, it's not going to spike. Not the sweet spot. Yeah. Ooh, but it manages to uh, smash the eye out of the up B. Ooh, getting a little bit greedy right there with the fourth smash, too. You know, I feel like Inkling is just kind of feeling the pressure of being down, like, percent. So I feel like they're throwing out a lot of moves, a lot of hitbox, and just not being safe and respecting rival space and zoning. Nice hit again. Zoning up, he knows. Reverse has to be the one to approach here. 120 to 137%, and only higher. Lost the stock already. Rival with such control. That I'm telling you, when you have a character that by his by the tools, she's able to outzone you, outspace you, and stop you from your game plan. It's kind of hard. I feel the one thing Reverse is kind of struggling here is some fine mix-ups, though. And also not only that, go for empty hops. Trying to mix up Rival here. I feel like he's keeping the game plan a little bit too simple, and Rival's already ahead of that simple plan. I feel like what you need to do against CSS is that if you see them like landing with Nair, like if you don't have like a really good out of shield option to punish the jab afterwards, yeah. you know, because you're not going to punish the Nair, like because uh, the Nair is like minus two or three and then she has a frame mm. one jab. So unless you have like oh. something that's like frame three or like faster, but even then it's like not really worth it like half the time. Just wait for the option after they pressure your shield and then punish it or force them to whiff. Use your spacing to force them to whiff and then punish their, their whiff landing. But here we go. Roller and not going to be able to make it in time. You know, that was a good mashing on Rival's part. Nice. I will look make sure he bounced off that shield to make sure he got to the stage right. There's out, out of ink. This is a reverse opportunity to refill that ink. I feel, like, I feel like in that situation, it's not going to refill the ink because if, Keep the guard guard, yeah. if ZSS just flip kicked and then like buried him, that would have been the end of the game right there. But like Speak that. The oh, oh. The whoa. <laughs> dang! He said, "You know what? It doesn't matter. From a little too late, it will still happen." That hitbox starts from a low and goes up for a reason. I wonder if he tried mashing at first and then realized, "Oh shoot, he's charging up smash. Let's don't mash at all. I don't want to. I don't want to land into that." And then by that time, it was like too late. Yeah. Because you, mo you mostly see ZSS go for the, the up if they can help it. And he 
here we go. Going back to the inkling, you know, it, it was close, but I feel like not quite adapting quick enough. Here we go, running it back to PS2. There we go. I like this is what I like to see, you know, an opening combo, but unfortunately not going for another up air. Mm -hmm. And again, Rival opening up with an old combo of his own. No gets in there, but not gonna be able to follow it up with a whole lot. Well, I like this. Now punishing the uh, flip kick, and that's what you need to do against CSS. Now, you're yeah. not gonna punish like anything like on hit. So what you gotta do is you gotta punish either the spacing of the hit or the landing. Or the landing, yeah. Nice, tossing that splat bomb because he knows he's gonna go for that high option. Reverse yeah. adaptation to be made and played here. Yeah, and now it's on rival to make up this deficit. He Ooh. has the skill to do it. He was able to kind of change things around. Yeah. And yet again, I like that. You know, using the back air to hit out the the plasma shot. Now we're looking for that spacing, we're looking for that landing here. He's looking for the opportunity to hit him with the confirm comes there or Nair, and then follow up off of the green. You know what, reverse is kind of keeping that away from him because he knows that's how he gets his damage, that's how he gets his combos, and I don't want to be comboed off that way. There's that Zare, and it's really good at speed stop the side beat, a beat that's not going to take a bite. That does give rival the stage to play with. Okay. And yet again, here we go, back on mm. the stage, but you know what, he loses center stage control, and now we're back to, uh, you know, that 50-50, that you know, neutral. This is where things with the ledge can be a little bit difficult for Rival 2 because he has been going for that down smash and then he'll read the jump get up. But at that opportunity we saw earlier, Reverse went for a forward. So Reverse kind of showing off that he knows I need to go for something to protect myself when I make a landing if Rival is going for that option. And of course, if you're finding a VSS, you kind of know what you're going to be going for the ledge. Down smash yeah. one of those tools. I mean, it's either going to be down smash or side B. Yeah. It's going to be one of those tools. So, like, the, the key thing is just never normal get up against ZSS. Yeah. It's never worth it. Always, always jump because ESS can't really punish that unless they like hard commit with a uh, fair or a bear. But yet again, like nice. if you see them jump, then you don't like. What a read there! He knows he's going for that play at the platform. Watch the landing. There it is. Able to capitalize and a second time. Rival. This is a highway robbery, bro. Mm -hmm. This is reverses game. Rival comes back around here and takes it over. And yet again, here we go. Again, back to neutral. You know. Reverse had so much momentum on his side, but you know what? He's going to be able to make it back with his edge guard. Not quite. Gets a re-grab in. Back, back to, oh, mm. not going to be able to match <laughs> out, but gets a re-grab anyways. Oh, what a great match out from Rival. He's not letting him have it. Yeah, I feel like Reverse is going a little bit too greedy with those pummels, you know. I feel like with Rival's abilities, you know, you should just pummel like once or twice and then get over a quick throw. Nice. Use that jump get up. I'm sorry, edge, edge attack to make sure he comes back. Okay. Here we go. There's the normal get up, and that's going to be punished, but not going to be able to uh, do a whole uh, full punish off of that. I mean, Rival just immediately trying to tell him, I want to walk away with this two stock as a punishment to you for starting off with his lead. Because he's definitely turning things around for his own sake. Rival, like I said, he has the tools to turn around. He's definitely putting here. I like the fact he gets paralyzer, only jab. He's not going to go for any kill options just yet. He knows he needs more percent. Blocks the, the roller there because that's what you know. You know, that's what you know. You need to do it this time. Right. And yet again, I feel like you know, reverse is just really struggling to find his way in. You know, I feel like he's just throwing out a bunch of attacks, hoping that you know, rival lands into him. Mm -hmm. He's flustered. He's flustered. Yeah. You can tell in the middle of a fight, in any kind of fight. When you start swinging, that's when you know you're hoping to hit something to get something to get, get going on. Right. Never swing, always swing without with a purpose. Right. And here we go. The slap bomb mm. and the slap bomb will catch the. the it's, a, it's actually. I feel like that was a down tilt the way it sends you actually in that angle mm. because he was kind of caught here. He lost his invisibility there, and at higher percent, you do lose legend invisibility much sooner. And he was looking to go extra deep on that one. Right. You know, I feel like a lot of people you know they get you no. Know, Crossed up on that up B, you know, because it has a landing hitbox that you really don't expect. But you know, Rival just jumping out of the way of that hitbox, but not <laughs> that time. You know, that landing hitbox does seven and a half percent. That's a lot more than I would have ever given it credit for. I thought I did like two or three, but I'm saying, dude, yeah, that that like, oh my god, the DI was not in your favor. Looking like an Arcadian DI for sure. Oh my god. Yet again.